Hey, how's it going? Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I made for you. Um, I'm going to show you exactly where you're at online, how much business your website's getting, how much business your com top competitor is getting, and exactly what it's going to take to dominate your competitors and corner the market for roofing leads in San Diego. All right. So as we can see, um, we're on my business page. My company's Amp Local. We do internet marketing here in San Diego, so we specialize with uh, local marketing and local businesses here. Um, so you you may visit my website to get more information, um, but I just want to jump straight into the video. So as we can see, we're on your web page. So I'm gonna go over some relevant information that you may or may not know, um, but just bear with me. Um, so as you may already know, over 90% of the population, when they need a product or service, whether that be roofing, their carpets cleaned, uh, a limousine, um, they're looking for a new house, real estate. Or to buy a new car, they're going to use Google. Okay, Google is the most powerful, popular way to extract information from the internet. Um, and 96% of them click on the very first page of Google. So knowing this, and what my job is uh, to do for your business is to get you at the top of these searches. So people, when people are searching for a roofer or a roofing company in San Diego, they find you and click you versus your competitors, right? Um, so to find you, someone would naturally type in roofing San Diego, okay? Or they can put in, or they can put in uh, roofer San Diego, um, something of that nature, All right? So roofing gets searched um, specifically about 200, at least 210 times a month here in San Diego. Um, someone is actively looking for a roofer or something that has to do with roofing um, over 12,000 times per month. Um, so some other keywords. Uh, would be roofing contractors gets about 70 searches per month um, roofing companies is 50 per month so as you can see um, there's actually hundreds and hundreds of keywords to rank your business for I'm going to focus on the most popular one which is roofing San Diego all right um, so for that keyword search I did not find your business on any of the pages I searched the top 10 pages I didn't find your business um, and I didn't find it in the Google Maps at all all right, so that's telling me a lot of things. That's telling me that there's some work needs to be done, right? Um, so as you may already know, this is your Google AdWords. Okay, you can run ads to get the phone ringing today. 20% um, of people click on those. Um, this is your Google Maps. Definitely want to get your business listed as a local business here as a roofer in San Diego. Okay, so about 30% of the clicks from come from here, and the remaining 40 to 50% of the clicks come from the organic rankings right here so my uh, goal for you is to get you ranked right here at the top of both of these okay so um, your top competitor here in San Diego is San Diego roofing okay that's the name of their company um, so I want to show you how much business you're getting okay so right now your website uh, when I looked at your website your website looks pretty new um, and it's nicely put together it's not bad there's a couple things I'm going to go over with the website, but as far as business and clicks, I can't get any feedback from Google um, either because it's not listed correctly or it's so new. Okay, um, so I can't pull any data for, from your from this business, but I'll show you your top competitor. So they're getting um, about 333 clicks per month consistently. I mean. Uh, just a few months ago, they were getting over 400. Okay, so there's a huge potential. This is your top competitor in San Diego. So being at the top of these searches, um, imagine what, what could th over 300 leads do for you and your business? It could, you could grow a lot, right? Those are very valuable uh, clients. Um, so of course, he's closing uh, you know anywhere between 15 to 20 percent of those, which is still huge. So I mean, it's like 50, 60 jobs plus a month. Um, so huge potential there, right? With with the search engine marketing that I'm going over with you. So how do we do it? How do we get you there? Okay. So Google has an algorithm. Um, it's got 200 determining factors. I'm not going to talk about all of them. I'm going to talk to you about four of the very most important ones. Okay. Once we nail these, everything else kind of falls into place. Um, the very first thing I want to talk to you about is let's just talk about your website. You know, the aesthetics of your site. So um, what, like I said, the website looks great. Um, the thing that it's lacking on the home page is uh, authoritative content. So what do I mean by that? Google wants to know that you have 
um, lots of information to educate a new prospect that lands on your site. So you must be uh, mentioning roofing and roofers and a roofing contractor in San Diego, San Diego County, you know, all of these key words, and you want to have at least 1,000 and 2,000 words. Um, right now, you don't have really any content on there um, at all, really. You know, you, you'd have these, which are great to navigate through the site, but you don't have any good information on the site. So adding some a good authoritative content, at least 1,000 words on the home page of relevant information is what needs to be done. Um, so to give you an idea of what authoritative content looks like, I typed in elephant, all right, bear with me. Wikipedia is number one, and why is that? Look at their authoritative content. They're notorious for popping up, number one, for these kind of searches because they're elaborate. You know, the elephant, their evolution, their history, their habitat, what they eat, everything, okay? That's excessive. Uh, we want to have at least 1,000 words, okay? Um, the second thing I want to talk to you about is being mobile friendly. Okay, so 60 80% of people are actually going to look for their, that service on their phone, so you got to look good. And Google takes it very, very seriously. So you, this website is mobile friendly, so very good on that. All right, so just a couple things that I noticed with the site. Um, this is not really, this is a part of the algorithm, but I just wanted to point them out to you. You do have Facebook, Twitter, uh, Google+, and, and uh, this feed reader here. Um, none of these are linking to anything. If I click like on the Facebook, it doesn't go anywhere but the home page. I did notice that you did have a Facebook page. I found it, um, and it looks very, very brand new. It looks like there's not anything done to it. Uh, not too much, too much has been done to it. Um, so, you know, we do do social media um, reputation management. Um, you def and you definitely want to have your uh, your social media pages linked to your website as well okay so that, that's just one thing I noticed um, the other thing I noticed is that you don't have uh, your address listed on the website so I understand that the business um, I'm just you know pulling this out of the air just making an assumption but I'm assuming that you don't have a storefront or a place for clients to go to so you don't want to post an address but you have to have an address posted somewhere even if it's in white text hiding from your clients. So you have to have it in there to show Google that you are local. So, um, you know, whatever address this is, if, if this is where the office is, we got to have it in white text um, just to, to just to show that you're local here in San Diego. And that's going to play a role in the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is local citations, okay? Um, this is how we get our business name out there and our, and our website out there. So some examples, obviously, is Google. Yahoo, Facebook being yellow pages and white pages. So um, I found this address after digging for a little bit um, is uh, 15, uh, 15 uh, Kayamaka Avenue, uh, Spring Valley, California. So I understand, you know, you want to target San Diego. You want to be the big San Diego roofer here. So we have to get your business listed in um, San Diego on Google. It needs to be Google verified for San Diego. And whatever address uh, is verified, um, it has to be on all your citations. Your uh, website name and the address and phone number have to be identical across all the platforms. Okay, So I, I'm not 100% sure if this is the address you are using for your business right now or not, but after doing some digging, I was able to find this address for uh, Gemini Pacific Home Remodeling. Um, with the phone number that was listed on the website. So I needed to find this information to do the scan. So according to these results, you have a 78% error rating, okay, which seems a little harsh and it's something you should really take serious. So um, like you're not Google verified, uh, it's not picking up your Facebook. And why is that? Because when I go over to your Facebook, the address is listed as um, right here, Home Avenue, San Diego, California. So. I'm not 100% sure what that is. It doesn't really tell us, um, but it has to be. That's just one example. It's not recognizing the Facebook because it's it doesn't have the right address and information, and so you're not listed in all these. Now you may have these, but you just it this uh, Google's not recognizing it because of you don't have the address and information in there correctly. So this is the top 15 in the country. We definitely want to get you listed in all these. All right, um, and then. There's hundreds and thousands of these things, actually. We can get you listed in them a 
hundreds of them over time, but definitely the top 50 is a priority and clean up the 78% error rate that we have here, okay? All right, so the last thing I want to talk to you about are backlinks. We also call these influence pages. So say you had a client thoroughly impressed with the roofing um, job that you did for them. Uh, say they write an article online or a blog. Um, what will happen is they'll link your website to their website. So anyone reading that article can now click a link and go to your website. This is great for you because you have a new prospect, but most importantly, Google takes this as a vote. So uh, the more votes you have, it's like running for president, right? The more votes you have, the more chances you are going to win uh, the top positions, all right? And that's exactly what these are. So for you right now, um, you know, it, it seems like it's a brand new site. You really haven't invested into search engine optimization, you know, what I've been showing you. So you have zero backlinks, okay, according to my, my tool here. So um, let me show you your top competitor. Okay, that'll so we can get some numbers so you can kind of understand where they're at. So San Diego roofing. So I'm just gonna plug it in here. I do a quick scan. Okay, so let me show you what these numbers mean. So the referring referring domains means there's 16 websites mentioning them 44 times on the internet. The trust flow is the quality of those websites. So their trust flow is eight. Okay, so let me show you. This is the trust flow meter, okay? And eight is not even medium, meeting medium quality. So you know what that tells me? This is low hanging fruit. So if you invested into search engine optimization with my company, um, we would be able to nail this market so easily. Um, and let me tell you why. It's because we have unlimited amounts of backlinks to link your website to, uh, of referring domain, referring domains. We have unlimited numbers of them that are very high quality. All the high, all the quality of them are over 20 and 25. So they're actually off the charts. Um, so knowing this, this is a done deal. Um, and I really hope this makes sense to you because, um, the, the potential to blow your company up is huge right here in San Diego. Uh, just knowing this piece of information. Okay, so this is very, very important. Um, so that's the backlinks, okay? Uh, before I let you go, I wanted to show you one thing, um, you know, with the ranking, you know, and the percentages. You heard me talking about percentages. I didn't get to show you this earlier, but, you know, the number one person ranked business gets about 35% of that market you know and if you're in the maps that could be a total of 70 percent then if you're running a google uh ad campaign which it looks like this you can corner over 90 percent of the market so i highly highly recommend you know definitely we get your business google verified in the maps and then rank it for the top three in the in the city and then to get your phone ringing today um you know run a google adword uh campaign um, and those are cost per click, you know, they range between eight to $10 per click. Um, so we can go into more detail about that. Um, but that's pretty much it for my analysis. I really appreciate the time you took to watch this. Um, if I really hope this makes sense for you and your business and I would really look, I would really look forward to, uh, hearing from you and hearing your feedback and, uh, you know, growing your business online and uh, bringing you more of the targeted leads that you very well deserve for your business. So, again, I appreciate the time. You have my contact information. Uh, give me a call. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, and have a nice day.